But welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. We've had a little bit of a, a gap since the last time we played Insurgents. Since we're pretty, uh, pretty decently stuck. Um, pretty decently stuck where we currently are dealing with the Elite Four. Uh, I've tried to do some thoughts off stream, some potential different things we could do. So one of the first things I did was I picked up uh, Gandalf, which is the uh, which is the Delta Munchlax as a potential play that we could do. Uh, but then I, you know what, I looked into it. I was like, why don't we just go to the complete opposite end and we just look up the the elite four the the speed run because there is a speed run where someone has just speedily defeats the elite four oh no 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 i'm just gonna go ahead and uh save you all the time this plan it doesn't work so we're gonna skip ahead about an hour Okay, cool. That that should be better. Uh, heh, that did not work. I don't know. I don't know. We've I have never beaten the tour in Elite Four. Oh wait, did you catch it? You did catch it. Yo, nice. I uh, I don't expect to easily get through it, but I was like, you know, we'll try for this strat. See if it's good to me. It probably isn't. Let's let's try let's try an actual an actual run with actual Pokemon. Just grab all my level 90s and just, just attempt it. Will it work out for me? No. Will it still be funny to attempt it? Probably. Because we, we've only tried it like once as a full team and we got stuck on the baton, the baton person. The baton person is who we were stuck on for the longest. We could start with the ice room. Um, do you have earthquake? We could start with the ice room and see if we can get past. The, I don't know. I really just don't have a sh like a workable strategy for this, and I know I don't have the best team for it either. And I just can't really find anything online from anyone talking like, like, this is a good team to do the Elite Four with since it's a fan-made game. There's not as huge, like, it has a, a following, but not enough people being like, yeah, this is the team that I like to use uh, for it. They set up Stealth Rocks. See, it's like the AI, when the AI knows that there's other Pokemon, it's going to set up Stealth Rocks. Whereas when it the AI knew I only had one Pokemon, it didn't set up Stealth Rocks. That is one thing I don't love about this game, is the AI is incredibly smart. And the AI uses that information it has, and it uses it well. Like, the AI is not afraid to, uh... Not afraid to use its... 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 what it knows. So why not use the X drill? Because X drill is over X drill is a higher level than all of them. Uh, so it would cause all of these Pokemon to be level 98, and the rest of my team is only level 90. That's the that's that's the only reason I'm not also using X drill along with these Pokemon. And see, like I can't even bait them to go for the earthquake here because the the AI just knows that we changed to this, so it's not going to use earthquake this time around. Oh, it does. Wow. I didn't expect it to do it. It will cause them to set up stealth rocks. Uh, I mean, I guess. I I don't know. How do you outspeed me, Mammoth Swine? You definitely shouldn't outspeed me. You for sure should not outspeed me. About to set in Starmie. Um, and then I don't think we have like a like a direct counter, but also the fact that they set up stealth rocks just hurts. Like stealth rock setup is just not a fun time. We somehow don't outspeed you either. 
Be one shot though. Coming in with Shan. Chandelure. Uh, Ghost Dark Groundwater Rock. I mean, honestly, going back to Ragnarok's decent, but Ragnarok will die from Stealth Rocks on, upon being switched in. Momo takes, like, no damage from the Stealth Rocks. This might work out, though. If they go... But they aren't going to go for anything. They're probably going to They probably have mostly Ghost moves set up. Aw, oh, man. That would have been great for you, Kill. They might go for a full restore here. Here... I'm just going to hope they go for the full restore, so that way I can also full restore. Um, I'm going to go for the full restore on Spyro. And hope they also go for a full restore. No, they don't. Okay, I was actually expecting them to go for the full restore. <coughs> um, you're fast, but I don't think you have speed. Exert that pressure. Oh, wait, that's not Shadow Stink. That's a different move. Shadow Force is a very different move. I mean, Shadow Force is fine, but I have, there was really no reason to use Shadow Force there. Uh, Crocrogonal. Crocrogonal. I assume Crocrogonal's, like, main weakness is... Oh, wait, no. Maybe if I spell the Pokemon's name correctly, then I will get its actual weakness. Either, yep, I, yep, that's the Love Frida. Okay, solid, solid. I love this not actually. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna assume that my best shot is Spyro. I'm gonna assume my best shot is Spyro. But Spyro takes a lot of damage from Stealth Rocks. And I don't think we outspeed. If we don't outspeed, we're screwed. Because it just, it'll probably one. Oh, okay, we do outspeed. Flamethrower barely does any damage. Uh, Flamethrower barely does damage. Uh, Fighting Rock Steel. Fighting Rock Steel. Ragnarok still hurt real bad. Releasing Slowpoke. Oh, no. Bye, Slowpoke. Can we take an Ice Beam? We can't take an Ice Beam. And we missed the Hypnosis. Come on. I needed that Hypnosis to land. That Hypnosis could have been... That Hypnosis could have been the way we beat this. Man. That Hypnosis would have been great. And Frozen. But the sleet on top of the ice beam. The sleet on top of the ice beam destroys me. Just don't get frozen this time. Yeah, the heavy sleet just really hurts me. Um. I don't think we outspeed. I don't think we outspeed. Yeah, we don't outspeed. But we can get off a of Moonblast. Just trying to lower some stuff. The hell stopped. Lovely. Love the, the, the hell stopping. The hell stopping is great. Goes for recover. That's fine. Ice Beam. Just don't get the freeze. Especially dropping its special attack is also great. I will take dropping a special attack. Goes for freeze dry. Critical hit. It'll probably they'll probably go for a full restore, maybe. No, they go for sheer cold. They go for sheer cold, hoping for uh Hoping they could pull it off. We'll get the hubris boost for ourselves. Rotom coming in. I assume it's going to be uh frozen Rotom. Uh I'm just gonna stay in. I'm just gonna stay in, because that's 
really our only play at this point is just to stay in. Um, but I'd advise tying. <laughs> Why do you want to get rid of, uh, that's, that's the, the, uh, Bellsprout is so o OP though. Frost Rotom, specifically your typey, your type effectiveness. Um, type effectiveness, Frost Rotom. Doesn't resist Fairy or Psychic, so we'll just go for the Moonblast. We outspeed! It goes for Blizzard. Blizzard does decent damage, but we outspeed, so it doesn't matter. Get the Hubris boost again. And coming in with Trevenant. Uh, Trevenant uh, can do some big damage. Um, Ghost Eye Star. They actually are weak to a decent amount of things, though. They don't resist either. We'll stay in. I think we'll go for the full restore as well. Ah, oh, yeah, because the hail started up again. Dang. Why you gotta get the hail going again? Restore 200 damage. What do they go for? They go for close combat. That's a crit from close combat. And that drops their special offense. Can you keep close combating? Can you close... Can you just close combat me all you want? Oh, wait, because that's a Delta Trevenant. I was looking up... I, that's a Delta Trevenant. They're weak to fairy. Hey, we, we defeated one of the Elite Four members. We defeated one of the Elite Four members. That's, uh... Something. But you know what I forgot to keep to take into account? I used up a lot of Moonblast doing that. I used up a lot of Moonblast doing that. So that's, uh... Uh, we're gonna keep the Revival Herbs for mid-battle. Do I have, like, normal revives? I should. We'll save the Revival Herbs for that action being in battle. And we will use the Hyper Potions over the four Restores. Do I have normal potions? So that way I don't waste this for... Do I have any just normal potions? If not, I'll use the rest of those. Okay, I do have some super potions. Like, I'd rather waste, like, two super potions instead of wasting one hyper potion. Alright, who do we want to attempt next? That was the frost room. The baton room is gonna, is the hardest. Um... I guess we could just go to the other person on this side, which is London. And he's a trick room theme. I take- I don't want to do this. You gotta love that link I sent you. Wait, I don't know what link it was. So this is- this is the trick room person. They're all about tricking you. Set up a save in here. Oh, the explanation went my team? Yeah, it's great. Uh, it is great. Uh, I actually don't know who they lead with. So I guess we'll just lead with, uh, Tyranitar. Because I don't know who they're going to lead with. <clears throat> I lost- sorry, London, I skipped through your entire line of dialogue. I apologize about that. Okay, they do lead with Ridiculous, uh, which is their Mega, it looks like. Looks like this is their Mega. Um... Resistant to psychic and fighting. <clears throat> Weak to dark. I don't think we outspeed, so we'll go we'll go for the crunch. <clears throat> do we survive one hit? Oh, we do outspeed. Oh wild. They go for the calm mine. Oh shoot. The sandstorm just tanks them out. <laughs> 
Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Alright, next up, uh, this is not a Delta. This is just Conkledor, which is weak to... Two times weak to Fairy, Flying, and Psychic. So let's go... Let's go Spyro. And Brave Bird. Let's Brave Bird. We do not outspeed. I was really... I was really... Really banking on outspeeding there. Really banking on outspeeding there, which didn't happen, so... That kind of blows. Really banking on that. Do it, Bulby! Go for the s s s s psychic Yeah, nice outspeed, am I right? I'm just... I'm just... I'm the fastest... I'm so fast. Alright, they go down. We get a special attack boost. Coming in with Marowak. Coming in with good old Marowak. Marowak, what are you weak to? Oh, is this a Delta? No, this isn't a Delta. And this isn't a Mega, because they've already Mega'd. Uh... Listen, that outspeed could have been great. Could have been a great outspeed, but it wasn't, so there's that. Go for the Surf. Rock Slide doesn't do anything to us. Surf's a one-shot. Alright, uh, Togekiss. Do they have a Delta on their team? I don't think they do have a Delta on their team. Uh, weak to ice and electric. So we could go... We'll go rice here. We'll hope that rice outspeeds. But Togekiss is, is also spitty. Um, actually, which of the two... Which does more damage, Thunderbolt or Ice Beam? Which is more power? Thunderbolt is nine. Oh, they're, they're both the same. That could freeze, and this could paralyze. They're actually both great. Blizzard's even better. Um, but it's a 70. I don't know that we chance that. I think we just go for the Thunder. I think we just go for the Thunderbolt. We do outspeed. The Thunderbolt is not enough to one-shot. Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we're fine. We're actually fine there. Oh, they go for Roost, so we tie for speed. But that's fine. Roost still isn't enough. They withdraw Togekiss and come in with Jellicent. Which is not their smartest play. Considering Thunderbolt is super effective to them as well. And we get the Para. So I don't know that that... And then they go back to Togekiss when I'm Thunderbolting. So not this... Again... Not the smartest play... And then they come in with Scizor. And they come in with Scizor. Okay. Alright. Um, you definitely made some choices there. Uh, four times weak to fire. If only we had a fire type that was still alive. If only we had a fire type that was still alive. Um, you know what? Let's just go... What I don't know what their moveset is. But let's hope they... I don't know. You know, fire would have been great. Actually, they resist fighting, don't they? No, they don't resist fighting. We'll go for worse through them. Bullet punch. I forgot we had a fighting gym on them. What's gonna be great is when they randomly decide to swap here with a U-turn. Let's go for Aura Sphere anyways. Oh, no, it doesn't affect you, because... Dang it! Because they're a ghost type. And they got full para, so they didn't attack there, so it's fine. I was like, I'll just punch you then. I was like, wait, no, you're ghost. Wait a second. I just realized this was a terrible idea. They resist dragon, but they don't resist ghost. I just don't want to use up too much of our power point. Cool. Pursuit. Sure. 
Should we get a crit and just finish the day? That's fine. I'll just punch this jellyfish. Just a little pow. Uh, come in with Ragnarok, set up, uh, set up some, some, some sandstorm. It'll be super derude. Uh, dark, do they resist? They don't resist dark. But yeah, you turn. You turn it up, my dude. For sure, you turn. For sure, you turn is the play. Hey, we defeated a second Elite Four member. Maybe, maybe what really happened was, is we just kept attempting to face the same Elite Four member over and over again. Maybe we just need to devise a plan to get past that one person. Because I'm going to be honest with you, every time I've attempted it, I always start with the baton pass person. Maybe that's really what it is, is we just need a plan to actually get past them. Maybe everyone else is pretty easy. Or not easy, but, you know, easier. Alright, I'm fine with you being 2 HP lower. Um, so let's save that person for last, since they're who I'm most afraid of. Um, and let's go into... Um, at our... Here's the plan, just get... Hush, why do I... I always forget that that's a good plan. I always forget that plan. I need to do that more. I need to just get good more. 